and welcome back to another video another episode of coffee and stocks in today's video we are going to look a little bit into the market as well as a very uh, good stock that i personally like but obviously before we get started can i please ask you guys to drop a like on this video as well as press the amazing subscribe button it does go a long way in support of the channel and i do thank every single one of you guys because you guys are just plain amazing so today we are looking into the market at the end of the day the s p 500 was down 3.26 which isn't too too bad i mean it did go up and down within the day the dow uh was up today um plus 123 nasdaq just had a very very bad day today which is kind of sad for them um but in general it wasn't such a bad day there was a lot of sell-offs still in the um, cryptocurrency world <clears throat> which i do hold quite a bit but it didn't hurt that much uh stock market is still a little volatile because of the uh, inflation fears anytime the feds come and 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 they talk about anything the market gets a little weird whenever they talk about inflation whenever they talk about all that the correction is wild the correction goes down a lot of people start selling a lot of panic sell that is why we see a lot of people just being wild now this is the s p 500 for today it isn't too too bad let me just refresh here for you guys just so we get a clear view we do have uh alibaba um down uh 2.73 percent apple down 1.8 percent microsoft down 0.3 percent um so overall not a complete red red day but still there is a lot of areas where uh people are just selling like crazy we do see um tesla still hasn't you know come up quite yet um it was selling off completely and it's been selling off for a while now um so stay tuned on that one because you could still buy tesla at a very low price the stock i do want to talk about is carnival corp let me just zoom in there for you guys um currently going for 27 dollars and 17 cents yes it opened up at 27.88 which is pretty good better than what it closed uh yesterday and then it just had a complete not a huge sell-off but it had a pretty good sell-off today of 2.5 percent all the way down to 2718 um from 2788 in the past week the highest it's ever been was at 2851 and the lowest it's ever been i believe is at 26 something yeah 2697 ish um around that area um in the past month the lowest it's been is at 2478 but the good news in my point of view um is that uh the price is getting to the 52 week high if we look in like in the in the past year right that's the highest it's ever been 30 dollars and 63 cents that is not including when we had that huge sell-off uh back in february right here as you can say from the 41 dollar mark all the way down to eight dollars but i will say this um see right here from the eight dollar mark right it has had a positive 220 percent to the upside yes if it has gone up and then sold off a little bit traded sideways and then up again traded sideways and then up again it is going to have this continuing a continuous rise to the upside slowly but steady i will say it will not get to this 40 dollar mark uh this year necessarily it might get to the 30 35 dollar mark this year if everything goes right and if people start going into cruises a little bit more uh carnival is definitely a stock to have in your portfolio but as always, I am not your financial advisor, so please do not take my words as advice. Uh, always go consult your financial advisor about, uh, you know, the carnival uh, specifically and always be smart when investing your money. All right. So a lot of people are still scared of uh, buying into carnival. 
the CDC does say you could take, you know, they lifted the mandate of, uh, of wearing a mask, which is pretty good. Um, but people are still not a hundred percent on cruising. Yes, people are flying a little bit more, which I think flight stocks right now have recuperated a little bit better than cruise lines. Um, but people are still not 100%, 100%, sorry, when investing in uh, uh, Carnival, for example. If we look at the, uh, the PS ratio of Carnival, as you guys can see right here, this I believe this is the past uh, five years or since 2006, I guess you could say. The PS ratio has been lower than 2%. And then all of a sudden, obviously, when we uh, got hit by the pandemic, it dropped to lower than one. And then all of a sudden, as we see right here, um, it exploded as of last February to uh, 23.46. If you guys don't know what PS ratio is, and this is just a definition, it's an investment valuation ratio that shows a company's market capitalization divided by the company's sales for the previous 12 months. It is a measure of the value investors are receiving from a company stock by indicating how much uh, they are paying for the stock per dollar of the company's sale. So more people are buying this and they're paying more for what it is worth. So it kind of has an ups like it can have a positive view or a negative view on this uh, more and more people are buying this as you guys as you guys can see Not as much people are still being aware uh, That this could crash and honestly if it does I do own some of this and if it does go under the $23 mark, let's say um, I will stock up more because I do believe at the end of this year or beginning of next year when people keep on going on more cruises this is definitely going to be a stock you want in your portfolio. I don't own a lot and I am not paid by Carnival to talk about their stock. I'm just letting you guys know <clears throat> that this is a potential huge money maker, especially in the future. Market cap is at 30 billion. That is a crap load. They don't pay, pay dividends, but it is okay because I do believe 100% that this will explode to the upside look at this volume right here at 26.63 million crap load right so that's definitely something to keep in mind now i will say do your research on every stock that you invest in because you don't want to invest blindly all right so anyways that was today's video hopefully you guys liked it don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press the amazing subscribe button does go a long way in supporting the channel and i do thank every single one of you guys and i will see you guys next time on coffee and stock